Cleopatra VII, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, remains one of history's most enigmatic figures. Renowned for her captivating beauty and sharp intellect, Cleopatra's allure not only enthralled two of Rome's most influential men, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, but also left an indelible mark on history. However, beyond her famed romantic liaisons and political acumen, lay a series of darker, more scandalous secrets. Cleopatra VII's journey to becoming the most famous of Egypt's pharaohs was as tumultuous as it was dramatic. Born in 69 BC into the Ptolemaic dynasty, a Greek family that ruled Egypt after Alexander the Great's death, Cleopatra's upbringing was steeped in the cutthroat politics of her royal house. Her father, Ptolemy XIII, left a legacy of a weakened and destabilized Egypt, plagued by economic troubles and dependent on Rome's goodwill. In this volatile environment, Cleopatra ascended to the throne at the tender age of 18, following her father's death in 51 BC. Her co-ruler, as was custom in Ptolemaic Egypt, was her younger brother Ptolemy XIII, whom she also married. This power-sharing arrangement was unstable from the start. Cleopatra, far more ambitious and politically astute than her brother, quickly sought to consolidate power, a move that led to civil strife. Her bid for sole control soon resulted in her being forced into exile in Syria, but this setback did not diminish her resolve. Cleopatra, with an eye for opportunity and a flair for the dramatic, would leverage her charm, intelligence, and political savvy to regain her throne. Her infamous encounter with Julius Caesar, where she was allegedly smuggled into his chambers wrapped in a carpet, was more than a romantic gesture. It was a calculated political move that would alter the course of her reign. Cleopatra's relationship with Julius Caesar was a turning point in her rule. Their alliance was a blend of political strategy and personal intrigue. Cleopatra needed Caesar's support to regain her throne, and Caesar, fascinated by her intellect and charisma, saw in her a valuable ally in a strategically important region. Their liaison produced a son, Ptolemy XV, popularly known as Caesarion, Little Caesar. This relationship solidified Cleopatra's power, but it also entangled Egypt further with Rome's political and military ambitions. Following Caesar's assassination in 44 BC, Cleopatra found herself in a precarious position. Her alliance with Rome was personal, tied to Caesar, and with his death, Egypt's future was uncertain. Enter Mark Antony. One of Rome's most powerful leaders and part of the triumvirate ruling Rome post-Caesar. Cleopatra and Antony's relationship was both a love affair and a strategic alliance. Antony needed Egypt's wealth and resources for his political and military campaigns, while Cleopatra sought to secure her throne and the future of Egypt. Their alliance, however, proved to be controversial. The union produced three children and saw Antony eventually divorcing his Roman wife Octavia, sister of Octavian, later Augustus Caesar, causing a scandal in Rome and worsening relations between Antony and Octavian. This love affair and political alliance were not just the stuff of romance and legend, but were pivotal in the changing dynamics of power in the Mediterranean world, setting the stage for conflict and the eventual downfall of both Antony and Cleopatra. Cleopatra's reign was a masterclass in political manipulation and strategic power plays. Her intelligence and political savvy were key in navigating the complex and often dangerous political landscape of her time. Cleopatra's relationships, particularly with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, were not mere romantic liaisons, but carefully calculated moves in the grand game of power and influence. Her involvement in the Roman civil wars showcased her strategic mind. Initially aligning with Julius Caesar, she provided crucial support that helped him consolidate power. After Caesar's assassination, Cleopatra astutely shifted her alliances to Mark Antony, who was then one of the most powerful men in Rome. This alliance was mutually beneficial. Antony gained access to Egypt's wealth and resources, while Cleopatra secured her position and Egypt's autonomy. Cleopatra's influence extended far beyond the borders of Egypt. She became a significant player in Roman politics, impacting decisions that would shape the future of the Roman Empire. Her intelligence, coupled with her understanding of Roman politics, allowed her to maintain Egypt's independence amid the growing power of Rome. However, her relationship with Antony eventually led to their downfall. Their alliance was seen as a threat to the Roman Republic, especially by Octavian. 
Antony's political rival. The conflict culminated in the Battle of Actium, where Cleopatra and Antony's forces were defeated, leading to their eventual suicides and the end of Ptolemaic Egypt. Throughout history, Cleopatra has often been portrayed as a seductress, a depiction that oversimplifies her complex character. Popular culture has emphasized her romantic relationships with Caesar and Antony, often at the expense of her political and intellectual achievements. However, historical accounts paint a different picture, one of a leader with great intellect, charisma, and political acumen. Cleopatra was fluent in several languages and was known for her persuasive skills. Her ability to charm and negotiate with some of Rome's most powerful men was rooted in her intelligence and deep understanding of politics, rather than mere seduction. She used her persona effectively, leveraging her charisma and intelligence to forge alliances and maintain her power. This myth of Cleopatra as a seductress, while romantic and enduring, detracts from her true legacy as a skilled ruler and tactician. Her story is a reminder of the often gendered portrayal of historical figures, where a woman's intellect and leadership are overshadowed by her sexuality. The death of Cleopatra in 30 BC is a subject enveloped in as much mystery and intrigue as her life. According to popular legend, she chose to end her life by allowing a venomous asp to bite her, rather than be paraded as a trophy by Octavian, the future Augustus Caesar, following her defeat. This version of her death, rich in its dramatic and tragic elements, has been immortalized in art and literature, shaping her legacy as a ruler who chose death over dishonor. However, the romanticized tale of the asp bite has been contested by various historians and scholars. Alternative theories about her death suggest that she might have been murdered, possibly on the orders of Octavian. Some historians argue that the ASP bite story was a fabrication by Octavian to mask his involvement in her death, aiming to depict her end as a fittingly dramatic exit for a queen known for her charisma and power. This theory posits that her murder would have been a politically expedient move for Octavian, ensuring the complete annexation of Egypt and elimination of any potential rallying figure for opposition. Other theories propose that Cleopatra might have used a poisonous ointment or a mixture of deadly substances to ensure her death, rather than relying on the uncertain venom of an asp. Historical accounts describe her death as relatively quick and painless, which some argue is inconsistent with the effects of an asp's venom. The true nature of her death has been lost to history, leaving room for speculation and debate. Her death symbolized the end of an era, the fall of the Ptolemaic dynasty, and the final integration of Egypt into the Roman Empire. The manner of her demise, whether it was a calculated murder or a dramatic suicide, remains a topic of fascination and debate, adding to the enigma of Cleopatra's enduring legacy. Cleopatra's path to maintaining power was not without its darker aspects. To consolidate her rule, she did not shy away from eliminating rivals, including members of her own family. Her younger brother, P. Ptolemy XIII, and sister Arsinoe were among those who fell victim to her ruthless quest for power. These eliminations highlight a more Machiavellian side of Cleopatra, willing to use any means necessary to secure her throne. While these actions were not uncommon in royal dynasties, they add a complex layer to her character, often glossed over in romanticized accounts of her life. Cleopatra's legacy is a tapestry of varying portrayals, from a cunning temptress to a tragic figure doomed by love. Over the centuries, she has been immortalized in literature, art, and film, each medium offering its own interpretation of her life. In Egypt, she is remembered as the last pharaoh, a symbol of the end of an era. In popular culture, she continues to fascinate, often depicted as a figure of seduction and tragedy. However, these portrayals often overlook her role as a savvy politician and capable ruler. Cleopatra VII remains one of history's most captivating and complex figures. Her life was a blend of scandalous actions, political shrewdness, and undeniable brilliance. She navigated her way through the patriarchal world of ancient politics with astuteness and courage, leaving behind a legacy that continues to intrigue and inspire. Her story serves as a powerful reminder of the multifaceted roles women have played throughout history and the enduring impact of their actions on the world stage. Cleopatra's life, enshrouded in both glory and scandal, remains a fascinating study of power, politics, and the human condition.